show you how to green screen with your Windows Movie Maker. First, you have to go to the internet and download this program. Well, add ons for Movie Maker. I will have the link in the description. You have to download whichever one's best for you. Then, once you do that, you can open up Movie Maker and you can get rid of this stuff. And then, when you're in Movie Maker, you go to the transitions. And scroll down, you see all this new stuff here all the way down. And for green screen, this is the stuff you're going to use right here. For blue screen, it's this one, these ones. All right, so what you got to do first is import your video with the green screen or blue screen in the background oops okay that's this one now I'm going to show you how to do this with both video and picture I'm going to show you how to do it picture first I'm just going to cut this video shorter so that it's easier to show okay see then you import the picture or video whichever one you want to do put that in the timeline right after the spot you want to make the green screen happen stretch it out longer than the video and put it almost all the way over almost all the way over but not quite just so that it barely doesn't overlap then you cut the rest of the picture or video down to match the length of this other one and you go back to the transitions doesn't matter which way you go into it scroll down and if you're using green screen these ones right here using blue screen up there I find one looks the best you can experiment for yourself and then if this comes up, just push continue unregistered. And then after 12 days, you can come back to the video and re download it. And now you can see it's kind of a bad example because the Rubik's Cube has green in it. But besides that, it would look pretty good. Now I'll show you with I'll go back and I'll show you with the video the other video just import that put it right there again what you're going to want to do is slide it over so it just barely doesn't overlap and if you're here for video cut it you split it, get rid of the rest of it, and then make it the length of the other video. Then you go back to transitions, or you go to transitions. Like I said before, use the first one, or whichever one you find best if you experiment with it, and put it in. And you can see that again where the blue is, or the green is it's pretty bad but if there wasn't the green in the Rubik's Cube it would work pretty good and that's how you do it so thanks for watching please comment rate, and subscribe